Welcome back. Before I share mentorship tips with you in the next video, in this particular video, let us establish the understanding with which a data analyst should approach using all these analytical tools like Excel, Power BI, Tableau, and all others. While we understand it's all about business value, there are concepts data analysts must understand that makes it easier to get the best from every tools you are using. A data analyst should learn Excel to understand how to use it for analytical purposes. A data analyst should learn Power BI to understand how to use Power BI for analytical purposes. Same thing goes for Tableau and other tools. If you look at this statement, the denominator here is data analytics purposes. So what is that purposes? What is that purpose? What should you know? And this is more reason why it is important you have some understanding of some analytical concept. And while you're using those tools, you start to relate with them and makes it easier for you to use those tools for that particular purposes. First, let's talk about ELT and ETL. ELT means Extract, Load, Transform. ETL means Extract, Transform and Load. And even as you use Microsoft Excel, these are the things you will interact with. These are the concepts that will play out for you and I will describe them now. First, ELT, Extract, Load and, and Transform. This is exactly what you do most of the time using Excel. The data you are using today was actually extracted. It was extracted and loaded by someone. It's either the copy and paste from somewhere, the process of copying is extraction, pasting is the loading. It's either someone entered directly, but they must be entering from somewhere. The process of entering it is extraction and also loading, or uh, it was exported from a source application. That is the same process of extraction and loading to a CSV or Excel format. And now that you have it open on your Excel, you're actually going to start the transformation part of it. So while you are not involved in all these processes, understanding those concepts and knowing how they've played out with what you're using goes a long way. So in Excel now, you are, you know, adding new cell, you know, adding new column, you know, transforming some data, writing your function. Those are the transformation you are carrying out. It has been extracted, it has been loaded. And this is how you operate most of the time. But you never knew or considered those concepts. Once you understand this concept, you will transfer this knowledge across every analytical tools you'll be using. The other um, topic here is the extract, transform, and load, ETL. Yes, even in Excel, you still do that. For example, if you're extracting data from web, scraping data from web, that process is extraction, and you load it into Power Query where you can actually do some transformation, and then you finally load it. Of course, you can continue to do your transformation if you want to do some additional manipulation, depending on how you want to answer your question and use the data. But look at that process. So there's extra transform and load, there's extra load and transform, even while you're using Excel. This is the girl there, or what's, what level of transformation has been done or needs to be done, because sometimes you are positioned to do that transformation as well. So you see, it is very important to understand this. We've talked about extract, transform, and load, as well as extract, load, and transform. The next point I'm going to share with you is data source. So you also need to understand data source, and you see how this influences how you work as a data analyst. This data is stored somewhere. It's either stored in Excel, which could be where you are right now, all the data you are getting for your project or whatever you want to learn, they're actually in Excel or it is stored in a database. And this database can be in the company data center. That data center can either be on-premise or in the cloud. Understanding where your data is sourced, is stored, can influence or impact the way you approach your project. Take for example, you collect an Excel file from your finance, finance team every week, and sometimes they send it to you via email. So as a data analyst, who's you know, receive this request via email every week, the same format in that Excel template, but you get it every week with new set of data. What should you do? Simple, number one, create a folder, share folder with them, and ask them to name that same file using the same format. And of course, the date will now differ because different dates they are sending. They don't need 
to send it to you via email. All they need to do when it is time, they should upload it into that folder. As a data analyst you have, you then you know load this into Excel. You read from file, from folder, and use Power Query to merge and append them together and load them. That's extract. You do any form of transformation you even want to do and you load them. What that means is every week, once you click on refresh, you don't, you don't have to go back to the folder. You don't have to reach out to anyone or wait for email with the attachment. That new set of data updates automatically into your model. And you can see them reflecting, the figures reflecting in the dashboard, which you already built. You don't need to repeat those activities again. You see, your understanding of how the data is generated, is stored, is influencing how you approach that transformation process. So, as a data analyst, your work is not just to visualize, analyze, of course, that's the common de definition out there. But show me a data analyst today who is working in any company and does not have anything to do with cleaning, transforming, or extracting data. They will always have things to do. Um, uh, it, in some scenario, you still have to connect your data wherever it is stored. So, and some scenario, you might even be responsible for managing even where it is stored up to the point of analyzing. You know, this function is not cast in stone, although we expect it to be, uh, but different companies have different needs. And when, opportunity, when there's opening, they will always ask you, can you do this? Can you do that? Before you know what is there, your scope is really expanding and it's no longer what is in JD or what people are posting or sharing out there. But what matter is this, you must understand where data are stored, how they are being stored. And that will influence your approach to determining how to load it wherever you want to use it and for what purpose you need it for. You see, so in Excel, yes, when you have this understanding now, just reflect on these things. Any work you want to do, think about them in light of this. So where is this data? Oh, this data is offline. It's just stored on my desktop. Is it, is it regular? Is it just once? According to the business you are envisaging or you are thinking about, do you think this kind of data will come, come every week or every, you know, if it is not every week, okay, meaning it's just once in the time request, that thing can come up. Oh, so that is how your mind and your learning process can be progressive because you are learning how to use these tools in light of the understanding about analytical processes. And that is it. Rather than you've learned them, you are not even sure if you are using the learning exam for data analysis because you are literally learning everything possible. Thank you for taking time to listen to this and I hope this is going to help you going forward the way you approach all these tools coming around you. In the next video, I will share some mentorship tips. I can't wait to share this actually.